Okay, today we will see appearance, all right, how we can use appearance in uh, Adobe Illustrator, all right. Uh, for example, if you have a text, okay, first thing first, if you have text here, all right, and you want to fill gradient in this text, okay, I will go for example, I will take uh, like one font, just change it like I have this font. Hmm? Now I want to fill in this gradient, all right. So what will happen if you will just, you can change this color easily, right, like this, you can change this. But if you click on this gradient, you will see it will not work. You cannot see the gradient in this text. Hmm? And also we have, if you have any object like this, hmm? and we know that from here you can fill a single color in it. And you can also change outline only one stroke you can give to this object. But what if we want more strokes on the same one object? What if we want to fill more color, right? Like gradient, we want to fill a solid color, we want to fill pattern in the same one object and how we can do that? Hmm? So for that purpose, we use appearance panel, right? Here, if you will not find, just reset this one and go and reset essential classic, all right? Now, here you will see appearance panel. If not, again, you can go window and you can bring from here appearance panel. Hmm? So I will just brought out here, all right? Now you will see, actually, appearance panel will tell you all about the appearance or all about the properties of the object. Now currently you have this object which is called path hmm? and this object has a one stroke which has four point width and this object also has a fill which is green. Hmm? So it will explain all the properties about the object. So what we can do first of all, you can hide and show any property, all right? For example, if you will click here, all right, you will see you can hide and show that properties. All right, and here also you can show and hide fill property like this, All right? Next, you can change the opacity of a particular property. Like you can adjust opacity of stroke. Just click here, now you will see, you can change opacity of stroke like this. Now you can see, the opacity of only stroke will change. We cannot do from here. If you will do from here, the whole object pro property will change. Okay, so second thing, individually you can change property. Third thing, you can change the order of each property. For example, if you want to bring that prop fill property up, up, you can bring it up. If you want to show the whole object like this, so you can change the property as well like this, right? Like this. Fourth thing, you can also delete any property. From appearance just select that property all right like stroke property and click here delete so that property will be deleted all right the fifth thing you can add multiple I, I did undo if you want to add multiple property you can duplicate for example you have this stroke and if you click on this plus sign duplicate selected item so it will duplicate that item now you will see, you would say, what is use of duplication? Yes, there is. Just change the color. Now you will see the magic. And just change its width. Look, hmm? I'm changing width, but no result. Why? Now we have two strokes. We have stroke this red and we have black. And just look at here the width. The width of the red stroke is four point. The width of the black is seven point. So seven is bigger. So you need to bring it up like this. Now look, you have two strokes. Now you can change individually. For example, you want to change it. So you can make it like 10 points. Look, now you have this. If you want one more stroke, click here and just click here or you can add from here also. Add a new stroke if you don't want to duplicate. Click here, new stroke will be added. Hmm? This time I want to change it, for example, like three point. And I want to change its color to white. All right, look at here. Hmm? Because it's top, you can see. All right, you can also change its width like this. 
Now look, you have three stroke in one object. Okay, you have white, you have uh, red, and you have black stroke at the same time on one object. Same, you can fill also uh, the properties. Like you can add more properties. If you want to duplicate, you can duplicate, or you can add from here. Add a new fill. New fill will be added. Right, so from here you can change. If you will change like uh, any solid color, so it will, uh, like it will cover the behind one. But we will do. You can use this fading sky. It's a gradient. It's a transparent gradient like this, right? So you can fill transparent gradient above this. Look. All right. You can also add, for example, here go here and add new. And this time you can fill pattern like this. Right now we have filled three kind of fill. We have solid, bottom, then we have gradient, transparent gradient, then we have pattern. So in one object you can fill multiple properties and you can control the uh, you can control opacity of each property as well. Okay. For example, if you want to control opacity of uh, this pattern fill, click here. And click here and you can choose like this opacity so all right and third you can also add effects to a particular property for example I want to add a drop shadow to this stroke to this white stroke all right so select this white stroke and just go to effect and from here I want to add stylize and drop shadow if you click here so drop shadow will only be applied to that fill that that property stroke property from here you can change drop shadow like this is going outside all right so you can change from x offset all right blur you can also change all right 3 mm like this we have one and from here you can change also all right drop shadow you can apply you have preview I think we need to change, uh, all right, okay, all right. Now you will see here, if you click, you will see effect to only this property has been applied. Mm -hmm. So you can also show and hide effect from here. If you double click, you can add it again, all right. For example, I will do one millimeter from off X offset, one here, mm -hmm. blur, I don't want. And uh, opacity, I want 100%. All right, like this. Now you can see. So we have to move towards inside. Look here, it's going outside. And from x axis also, you can change. All right. So you can change how you want it. Look. Hmm? So if you will bring it down, all right, you can change its property also. Bring down and bring down as well to the black like this hmm? now this shadow you can see now we have drop shadow property on the below look each property you can move we have moved the drop shadow so each property which you are applying you can attach with the particular property or you can also change this order if you want to delete you can delete from here all right same if you want to apply an effect to this gradient fill select this property and go here this time for example i want to distort and transform you can also apply any effect from here but for example i want to apply uh, convert to shape and why i want to convert into rectangle this property so preview you can see how you are going to convert all right so extra width you can reduce and from here extra height you can reduce also like this Right, you can just reduce from here as well. Right, like this. So it's a preview. Now you can see how you changed your inside pattern fill into a rectangular shape. All right. So each property you can control from the appearance and you can add also. All right. So I don't need, uh, for example, this effect in a rectangular effect. Just delete this one. So it will be deleted. And also you can, yeah, it's done. Hmm? If you want to save this style for the future use, you can also save it. Hmm? How we can save it? For example, 
with the appearance panel you always get one panel more which is called graphic style in graphic style whatever styles you have created you can just save it for future use it's very easy what style you have created just drag it in graphic style now it's saved now you can delete it now just create another shape like this all right and just click on the style which you have created look it's done all right same you can apply on text as well if you have text like this hmm? so text size should be enough and like like this and just click on now it's applied wow it looks awesome right we have many predefined graphic style as well if you want to use them in graphic style panel click on this library icon and here you have a lot of presets of graphic styles you can use them especially i like neon effects for the text hmm? now if you have text like this in, and you want to apply a neon effect just click on any effect look and it look amazing la right look only by just one clicking you have many you have type effects also like the here you can just click look it will change you can click look right so many graphic style presets look you can use from the library of adobe illustrator all right for example if you want to make a uh, yeah we will see like if uh, you are filling gradient in text if you will fill from here you cannot for example if you click it's not working but if you want to fill gradient in text it's important point then you will go to appearance because i closed from here just go window and take appearance panel from here hmm? now make sure you have selected this one then click here add fill and now you can change like gradient fill from here look it's changed and now you can change from like this here any color from gradient panel and you can change also with gradient tool look at here like this further you can change color double click here you can change color if you want to change color as well all right same you can also add effects if you want to add effect to this so go to effects and from here stylize all right and from here drop shadow look and you can adjust uh, drop shadow how you want it all right and uh, opacity for example 30 percent and offset you can also 0.5 right millimeter and 0.5 all right and here blur you can also 0.5 okay okay and again you can add stroke click here and i will change the order of the stroke and i will bring it down like this hmm? so now if you want to save the style one more i will add and i'll bring it down like this and i will change this color to white all right so change this color white so i will bring it up yes and i will change the width of the black one it is all right so you have created this style if you want to save it for future use all right this one just drag it into graphic style that's it it's done even if you have deleted and you have another text like this all right just click once then click on the style which you have made it and you will get immediately all right this one and click here look all right because the text is smaller than before we have used like this all right so appearance panel is very important and same as i told you you can also use in in stroke like for, for example now we have only one stroke so again i will go to appearance for example uh, i will take appearance out and here you have uh, one stroke all right i will change it for example uh, 80 point all right like this i will just delete everything and i will increase it so width from here right for example i have this like this all right one stroke and its width is 80 points so again i will add one more and one more then i will change it to uh, its width i will change to 60 and i will change its color to gray all right 
like this and uh, again I will change this to white and I will make it at two points right now you can see how many stroke we have one two three hmm? so I'll go to stroke uh, white one and click here stroke and I will change into dashes look all right and you can change this cap for example 30 all right so it will be bigger now for example you have created one style hmm? now what do you need to do just select this one and just drop here in the style that's it now just delete it and just take any uh, shape for example I will take shape from here and just click here now you will see it's fine all right same if you have like this all right any line and then click here that that style will be applied look all right so with the appearance you can create style your own style for the text and for shapes or even for the strokes as well and you can save them in graphic style and you can use for future all right that's how you can use appearance which is most important in adobe uh, illustrator all right